most restrictive abortion laws in the country now in effect in Texas. And tonight, an Arkansas senator says he wants the exact same bill to become law here in Arkansas. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 60 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. Our Hunter Hoagland has reaction from those on both sides of this issue. It's called the heartbeat bill, making it illegal in Texas to have an abortion after six weeks. Doctors say some women don't even know they're pregnant at that time. I talked to State Senator Jason Rayport tonight who says his goal is to end all abortions here in Arkansas, including in cases of rape and incest. Outrage in the Lone Star State. It's going to be nearly impossible for folks to access the care that they need. Protests over what is now the most restrictive abortion law in the country. After the heartbeat bill went into effect in Texas, banning abortions after a pulse is detected typically at around six weeks. What Texas has done is absolutely awesome. Republican State Senator Jason Raper wants the same bill that passed in Texas to become law in Arkansas. I've already been in talk with pro-life groups in the state who say they are committed and willing to help us get this bill passed. This year, Arkansas banned all abortions except to save the life of the mother. However, a federal judge temporarily blocked it. We need it because federal judges are trying to strike down our, our laws time and time again. But instead of state officials enforcing the law in Texas, it allows private citizens to sue anyone who helps a woman get the procedure. Providers, relatives, even an Uber driver could be taken to court. It just makes no sense. It's like, how do you enforce that? Kara Connors, a lawyer here in Arkansas, thinks the Texas bill is unconstitutional and goes against Roe vs. Wade. You're deputizing private individuals to make a decision that the state is required to protect. Her thoughts echoed by the interim chair of the Democratic Party in Arkansas. It's just disheartening, it's sickening, it's frustrating, it's maddening um, for all women. Nicole Hart saying if Texas's version of the bill is brought up in the Arkansas legislature, they're prepared to fight back. We'll be doing the work on the back end, building out those networks to give people a platform to use their voice against this issue. President Biden weighing in on the issue, saying the Supreme Court's ruling is, quote, an unprecedented assault on constitutional rights and requires an immediate response. We'll keep you updated if this issue gets brought up before the session ends here in Arkansas. Back to you.